Hi, it's Shola here from Speak Up Like a Diva, Speak Up and Shine. I'm a public speaking coach based in London and I work with business owners who want to grow their business with speaking and make more money, step up, get on stages, all of that good stuff. I also work with people who want to boost their careers and do more and just maybe have some more confidence speaking in front of a group because public speaking is an awesome skill to have. And in today's video, I want to talk about the importance of practice. And I know that seems like a really obvious thing. Oh, Shola, you're telling me that I need to practice? Come on, surely I've got better ways to spend my time. But you'd be surprised how many people don't practice or they leave their practice until the very last minute. And I was at a networking event just recently and I was speaking to a lady who's a financial advisor and we were talking about potentially working together and she was telling me that she doesn't enjoy practice. And as a result, she's fluffed quite a few speaking opportunities. And she knows that if she doesn't practice, she fluffs things up, but it still hasn't inspired her to practice more. And uh, I thought what I'd do today is just share some of the benefits of practice with you. I mean, I, as somebody, as both a professional singer and also a speaking coach, I don't particularly enjoy practice. And you'll find that quite a few musicians would rather not have to practice, depending on the opportunity, right? But um, they'll, they'll do their practice to get themselves at a certain level. And then in terms of having to practice for every, uh, you know, gig that they do, as I say, depends. If it's a big, high profile one, they probably will do a lot of practice. But if, if, if not, you know, people like to rock up, do their thing, go. Um, and a lot of speakers are the same. They don't want to put that time in to get things ready. And practice sometimes isn't fun, right? Because practice is reminding ourselves that we are a bit crap at something, right? Or, okay, to be more gentle about it, it's reminding ourselves that we have a long way to go, right? But if we don't start, how can we improve? So if the, if the road is long, right, uh, but we never actually step on that road and get going, or we just sort of do what we can and and sort of don't practice kind of that journey, then it's it's always going to be tough for us. So it's super important to something going on. There's lots of plastic being rolled around outside. Um, I hope you didn't hear that. But anyway, if you did, I'm going to soldier on. And um, it's important to understand the benefits of practice and to to build it in to the presentations that you're making. So what are some of the reasons why it's important for us to practice? Well, the first one is it gets rid of a lot of the fear uh, and nerves that we have around speaking. And the number of clients who have come to me and said, oh, you know, I hate public speaking, I'm so nervous, I'm really worried about this opportunity, I don't want to, to do it. And then when we work through a bit of serious practice time together, by the end of it, they're looking forward to going and speaking. And they come back afterwards and they say, oh, that went really well, or I was, I was surprised by how well I did. And it's because they put the time in to practice. So if you wanna get rid of public speaking, the first place I suggest that you look is how much time are you spending getting ready and practicing versus how much time you spend worrying. If you took all the time you spent worrying and put that into practice time instead, you might be quite surprised by the results and how well you do. Okay, the second point I want to make is around the timing of your presentation. So if you never practice your presentation um, in under sort of conditions, you know, from start to end, speaking conditions, then quite often you'll get the timing all wrong. And, you know, I've done it too. You, 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 you've got 10 minutes to speak and it comes out to be five minutes, or you've got half an hour and it's 45 and you have to kind of rush at the end. So by practicing that talk from start to finish, Maybe you record it or something so you can see where you slipped up rather than having to stop and make notes. But by practicing from start to finish, it's a way for you to see if it fits to time. And to my mind, that is respect to your audience and the person who hired you or booked you to come and speak. Because you don't want to be one of those people that delays or messes up the schedule for the entire event because you went too long. Okay, audience will audiences will typically prefer a speaker who who doesn't use all the time and is a bit short versus somebody who overruns because they'll be like, what, well, isn't the next one supposed to? Oh. Okay, you don't want that and you don't want to mess up the schedule and have the, the organiser never invite you back again. So practice is really, really important for timing. And then the third reason for practice is because you get better over time. So 
we've talked about the fear going away. We've talked about now that you improve. If you want to improve, you have to practice. You don't want to have that sort of Groundhog Day experience where you know you have to make a presentation. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Or oh, I do the presentation. Or oh, it wasn't very good. No matter. Or oh, six months later, oh, I've got to do another. Scared. 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 Do the presentation. Oh, not very good. Oh, and forget about it until the next time. Why not use that opportunity to practice and to get better? Surely that's a better way to spend your time. Personal growth, um, improvement, getting better at a skill that is really important and can really elevate your career and in fact your social life as well. So that's it from me, the importance of practice. Three important reasons. There are probably many, many others. But those three are, first of all, it will get rid of some of your fear. It will also it's also respectful to your audience in terms of making sure you keep to time. And finally, um, it will help you improve, right? Practice, as they say, makes perfect. And we're not striving for perfection. We're just looking for excellence or for improvement. So practice makes improvement. Why don't we stick with that one? I hope you enjoyed that and that it was useful to you. And if you are interested in finding out more about what it is like to work with me, please do drop me an email or book one of my power sessions and we will chat. Take care.